let's admit it. You needed to uh, edit some PDFs and you looked around and you found this video. Well, I'm going to teach you how to actually do it. And there's going to be a lot out there that's free PDF editor and it's going to have you pay for something. And even if you tried the, the Adobe option, it's going to make you pay for something. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it for free. Really. Hello, good evening and welcome. So um, first off, kind of ignore the background. It says Hack the Planet. This is something from 1995. It was Hackers, my favorite movie. Anyhow, um, what I'm going to show you is kind of a technique that I use all the time whenever I'm filling out paperwork and stuff like that. Nowadays, um, PDFs will come interactive, all right? So you can go out to like the W9 form for Request for taxpayer identification, clarification, stuff, certification, stuff like that. These are interactive. You can always like check boxes and do things. They're interactive. They work. Okay. And even when we download them to like Adobe, right? It even shows us like we can edit and all this good stuff. This is normal. This is Acrobat Adobe Reader. It's free to download. It's free to use and stuff like that. But the moment you want to do something where say somebody, uh, I'm going to hit no, somebody sends you something like this, where it's non-interactive and you have to like fill it out. The most common practice, even for businesses is to take, print this out, fill it out by hand, scan it back in and then email it off. Okay. That's a lot of steps. All right and there's no need for it. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you that you need is GIMP, Graphics Image graphics image Manipulation Program. This little program right here, uh, GIMP.org. All right, if, to the creators of GIMP, to whoever thought up this idea, I love this image editor, and that's what it is, okay? So I've already got GIMP fired up down here at the bottom. I'm gonna get out of that, minimize this. GIMP, right here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go open up that non-interactive PDF file with um, with GIMP. Go to the desktop, PDF video, non-interactive. So yes, this will open up PDF files. Now here's the catch: you're going to open each one of the pages as a layer over here on the on the right hand side. Um, one thing that you do need to be careful of is right here where it says resolution 100. All right, change that. It's going to be 300. This is the same thing as DPI or dots per inch. And we want 300 so it's nice and clear. Go ahead and import that and watch what happens over here on the right. Oh my goodness. Now we can kind of zoom in here. This is the PDF, all the different layers. I'm going to hide the ones that I don't need to fill out. This is the one that we actually need. Okay, so I'm going to select that layer as the one that I'm going to be working with. Um, if I want to fill out a name, I'm going to come up here to the text tool and I'm just going to type it out. So we're just going to say John Doe. Whoa, John, John Doe, John Doe, John Doe. Okay. Um, you don't want to use comic stanza or the showcase Gothic like I've got. So I'm going to switch down to, to Homa. This is normally a nice font to use for forms. I'm going to change its color to black. We're going to change that font size down to, I'd say 58. No, yeah, it's still a little bit big. How about 48, 42, 42. Okay. So that looks pretty good. We also want to do a left alignment and you kind of adjust the box just to where you want it like that. And that becomes a new layer on top of all this. Okay. So only work with like one layer at a time. So you can look over here on the right hand side, see all these different layers as I fill them out. Um, if we had a business name of some kind, then, and this, this doesn't just have to be for W9. This can be for any PDF that somebody sends you and you don't have the ability to edit it. No need to print it out and do all that crazy stuff. You can do all this stuff from your computer. So I'm just going to write, oh gosh, it didn't change the black. There we go. Uh, we're going to call this 
free PDF ink or something like that. By the way, this is not real information. Please don't get offended by it. If you have a checkbox like this, just put an X like that. And it went that color again. Oh, it's because I don't have the default colors. There we go. And again, just kind of adjust the little box until it looks about right. Oh gosh, I did that wrong. And if you need to, you can always control Z and zoom it in. Just not control Z, control and scroll in and out. Okay, so there we go. Sole proprietor or something like that. Um, and then I think if you have an exception, like a, an exemption or something like that, you can put that in there. I don't have one, so I don't ever put one in. Address, all right, do the same thing. I'm gonna make my box big enough that I can type in here. I'm just gonna type one, two, three, awesome street, and then city will be, um, let's see, Beverly Hills CA 90210 something like that. Uh, if it has to do like an account number or something like that, you, you get what the idea is. Each one of these is becoming a layer over here on the right hand side. And I'm only looking at the one layer that I want to use. So I'm going to have to take all of those that I put onto the form, merge them into one singular form. Uh, list accounts. Um, let's do 8675309. Okay. And I don't even know if that's a real thing or not. Um, okay. So when you get down to stuff like social security and it boxes it out like this, take your, uh, your whole text. And I want you to go from the top to the bottom, right? Just like this. All right. And we're going to type out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like that. And here's what the cool part is. We're just going to kind of center it right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Control Z. And it's still the same length as the box, but since we're right justified, watch this. I'm gonna wait until that one is just inside the box. I'm even gonna move it over just a little bit. So try and center that one. And now, if I increase until that two is in the center of the second box, I should have perfect spacing. Just about there. So come over to where the four is. I'm going to put a space. Come over to where the six is, put a space. And now we can keep increasing just slightly. Uh oh, ran out of room on the end. Until all the numbers are just about in the center. And now it's filled in like that's awesome right so um the last thing that it needs is like a signature or something like that whenever you find something that has a signature and a date um the date you can do just like this 9 slash 15 slash 2021 now that looks kind of messed up because i forgot to put that back down to zero last is like the signature of the person here's the catchy part file new. I'm just going to make it um, 19. What, what was it? Um, 1920 by 1080. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> just just make a new thing. Okay. Right click on the background, add alpha, and then hit control A and delete. If you see the the like box stuff like this, that's perfect. Now what I want you to do is use your mouse and use the paint tool and you're going to just draw out your name. Um, let's go down to about a five, see what that looks like. Okay. So that kind of looks like a pencil marking. So, um, let's bring it up just a little bit, maybe eight. That looks a little bit better. So I'm going to spell out, um, my name, this isn't going to be my name. It's going to be code primate, but it's going to be a signature and it's going to be really big. Okay. So just do your best to kind of come up with a signature.
looks kind of poopy, but that's not the point. The whole point is I'm gonna take this whole thing, control A, control C to copy it. I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna hit control V, and then I'm going to change its scale. So I should be able to just adjust it right the way down. And now I should be able to move it. Oh gosh, it's so hard to grab. There we go. Just like that. Anchor. Yay! And there's other little tricks that you can do and stuff like that. But once that prints out, it's not gonna look as quite as pixelated or anything else. It will smooth out just slightly. Uh, and there's also, there's little techniques that you can do inside here to like make this smoother. But I highly recommend make it, make it big. If you're gonna sign something with a mouse, make it big because the mistakes look much more minimalistic once you shrink it down. So that's the last thing that we needed. We needed a whole bunch of this stuff, fill everything in, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over here to all those layers that we've added. And I'm just gonna merge them down. Merge down, merge down, merge down each one of the layers. Merge down, right click, merge down, and last one, right click, merge down. Now, we should be able to uncheck or uh, unhide all the other layers. I'm gonna hit Control, Shift, E. This is going to export it. And the note interact, I'm gonna put underscore filled in dot PDF. Just like that. And now when I hit export, check this out. Layers as pages, bottom first. Check that box, export, and away she goes. That's it. You just created a PDF. Well, I don't know. If you followed it along, you just created a PDF from GIMP. Let's go into the uh, folder. Let's take a look and see what it looks like inside uh, Adobe. Everything's filled in. There's the numbers. Look at that. Oh, it does still look pixelated. That's okay. You can you can use the paintbrush and, and just kind of blur it out a little bit. We might be able to blur that just a little bit. Here, here. Let's hit Control Z on all this. Where's that last signature? Floating section. There we go. So, uh, with that layer that I've got right there. Oh, Control Z. Right click to new layer. There we go. Now the signature is all by itself. So I should be able to go over here and maybe do a water. Is it is it water? Which one is it? Blur sharpen. There we go. And we'll increase that size just a little bit. Oh, that was like way too much. Control Z. Oh gosh. All right, what about tools, blur? Gosh, and blur. It's a little much. Let's do, let's do like 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. There we go. Looks a little bit better, but little tricks that you can do. I'm gonna get out of this, close, discard changes. And now this is actually ready to be like sent back out. Um, if there's stuff that you need to manipulate, change, stuff like that, you can always use the paint tools themselves to go in and um, just erase or edit or do the, the small changes that you need on whatever layer it is. Um, do your best to match up the, the lettering whenever you're trying to like replace a word or something like that, but that's it. That's all you need. There's a ton of scams out there. There's a ton of sites that offer PDF editing. Here's the thing. Adobe is proprietary. You can't use their technology, but it's still an image. So if you can manipulate the image, you can create a PDF with GIMP. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more tips and tricks and awesomeness. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.
want some new merch, check out teespring.com. Outro.